Hi, it's Steve with Brownells, and today we want to talk about the different methods of priming cases for reloading. We often get the questions, should I hand prime? Should I prime on my press? What do I do? Which one's right and which one's wrong? They both work, but maybe one's better for you than the other. So let's take a look. Um, begin with the hand priming tools. Basically what they do is give you more sensitivity. So if you're assembling some long range loads with match primers and everything's got to be just right, I highly recommend a hand priming tool. It gives you that feel that bench rest, bench rest people like. If you're just producing uh, practice ammo for your nine millimeter or something, you can prime it on the press, no problem. You got a progressive, you probably got no choice. So for that application and for many handgun applications, it doesn't matter whether you hand prime on the press or whatever. Usually it's a question of precision and feel. So anytime you're loading where some more sensitivity is required, like long range shooting, take a look at these hand tools. They really do the job and it doesn't matter if you use the Sinclair or you use the less expensive Lee tool or something in between. They all give you that extra feel. But if you're like me and you're just loading handgun ammo for blasting away at the range or maybe 223 ammo and you're not really shooting uh, precisely, you're just blasting, go ahead and load them on the press work just great. It always has. If you have any questions about priming or if you have some uh, advice for us, leave it in the comments. We'll be glad to take a look at it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.